And up first this week is going to be The Wandering in Volume 2, um, written by Pirate Abba. This is a mass of 100, sorry, uh, 1,632 pages long. It is $3.99. It is not available on Kindle Limited. Here's the author's description. No killing goblins. So reads the sign outside of The Wandering Inn, a small building run by a young woman named Erin Solstice. She serves pasta with sausage, blue fruit juice, and dead acid flies on request. And she comes from another world. Ours. It's a bad day when Aaron finds herself transported to a fantastical world and nearly gets eaten by a dragon. She doesn't belong in a place where monsters' attacks are a fact of life and where humans are one species among many, but she must adapt to her new life or die. In a dangerous world where magic is real and people can level up and gain classes, Aaron Solstice must battle somewhat evil goblins, deadly rock crabs, and hungry necromancers. She is no warrior. No mage. Erin Solstice runs it in. She's an innkeeper. So there we go. Um, this is such a good story. It really is. Uh, the, it's an online serial story that's actually still available online at the, the author's website. And it actually gives you a link in the um, uh, novel description on the Amazon page. Um, and that series is already up to like volume, like the middle of volume six, apparently. So we're as Amazon readers a little behind, but we, we get a nice version of this anyways. Um, and this online series story just gets better and better. I really enjoyed book number one, uh, volume one, I should say, I thought it was a great, uh, book. Um, we gave it an eight out of 10 book two is, is better, uh, in my opinion, mostly because the opening of book two, of volume two is just a little more fast paced. Like the opening of volume one was a little bit slow. And I think that first section was probably the hardest to get through. Um, but book volume two just does not have that issue whatsoever. It starts off in an exciting way and it just never really lets you go. I stayed awake, uh, multiple nights, uh, to read you know, over, over 1600 pages, uh, to like two in the morning. And I don't regret it at all. I really enjoyed reading this story. Uh, volume two, of the series, just like volume one is a slice of life story. Um, and it mainly follows the adventures of two women who were transported to a fantasy RPG world. Aaron, who's an innkeeper as a class and Ryoka, who's a runner. Oh, that's a job. Uh, and there are brackets to differentiate between a class and like just regular work. Um, there are other point of views in the story, including um, some very entertaining side stories. My favorite being the one where uh, Aaron's friends uh, try to get her um, to mate. <laughs> and there's a whole whole thing there. It's really entertaining. I thought it was funny because the author kind of <laughs> writes this line between um, not saying anything overtly sexual, but still referencing things. And it's, it's just fun uh, to see Aaron's... Um, unexperienced reactions to these like very just frank kind of conversations between these uh, non-human um, friends of hers. So it's very fun. And there are also some of the really good stories in there as well. Um, but uh, the story mostly follows those two, those two characters, Ryoka and Aaron, uh, just like it did in, in book number one. However, in this particular series, um, it follows them as they explore the world, fight monsters, riddle dragons, experiment with mind altering cooking recipes, tame wild princesses, and much more. Um, in book in volume two, I should say the the scope of the story does get bigger though. Um, in volume one, it very much focused on the in the main characters Aaron and Roku. Although mostly Aaron and Roku, towards the middle and end, of the story kind of became bigger figures. Uh, but also like the beginning starting town that they were in, not starting, but like the the town nearest the wandering end. Um, that was, that was mostly dominated by Drake's and, and Knowles and there's the big battle, um, and, and things I don't want to spoil for anyone who hasn't read volume one. Um, but in volume two, the story really does get larger. Uh, it talks about a larger world building aspects, the history of, of, of all the continents, um, the events that have happened in the past that are now affecting the present, um, advancement of large continental wide threats, multiple story threads with, uh, that are like introducing threats for the rest of the series, including the insect, like Antium that, 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 uh, advancing the goblin Lord, Lord of destruction, the necromancer and plenty of other ones. Um, there's a lot of material that you can see being developed for future volumes, which I'm really happy about because it, it portends, um, some very exciting uh, experiences on the RPG study things. Um, I'd say things are actually a little more developed than in book one in, in book one, volume one, I should say the RPG stuff took a good little while to get to and to explain and to become part of the story until I can, and kind of, um, show how it impacts the story and, and the world. Um, in book two, it's a volume two. It, it, it's just there all the time and actually gets this, um, interesting kind of, um, 
plot line of its own. And I thought that was neat. There, this isn't, it, even though the RPG system isn't like the big thing the same way it would be in like a Trapped in the Game story, it's still very much an important part of the story. And it, it actually becomes more important, I think, in volume two than it is in volume one. Um, overall, great story, great volume, hard to put down. Um, it just took me a long time to read because it's such a large thing. So um, I look forward to reading volume two as soon as possible. I'm, I'm I'm trying to not to look online because I don't I don't think it's fair to to judge uh, the free version that's online with potential editing issues before it's it, it, the paid version. Um, but I know they're also working on an audiobook for volume number two, which may take a little while to get to. But um, for me, great story. It gets an eight out of ten again. Um, that's The Wandering In volume number two. It continues to be great with a score of eight out of ten. <laughs> 